that when you brought the Young Global Leaders Program here for executive education and the Schwab Fellows, but there are two countries in the world now in which the Young Global Leaders have emerged. Tell us just a bit about that in, in terms of the governance. Yes, um, actually this um, notion to integrate young leaders uh, <coughs> is part of the World Economic Forum since many years. And I have to say, um, when I mention our names, like Mrs. Merkel, um, even uh, Vladimir Putin and so on, they all have been young global leaders of the World Economic Forum. Mm -hmm. But um, what we are very proud of now is the young generation, like uh, Prime Minister Trudeau, um, President of, Brazil, of uh, Argentina and so on, that so we penetrate the cabinets. So yesterday I was at a, at a reception for Prime Minister Trudeau and I would know that half of this cabinet or even more half of, uh, half of this cabinet are for our actually young global leaders of the world. Grateful. And that's true in Argentina too. Wow. Yeah. Sorry. That's true in Argentina as well. It's true in Argentina and uh, it's true in France now. Mm -hmm. I'm maybe the president with a young global leader, but what is important for me is those young global leaders have an opportunity to come here. Right. And we have established uh, a course uh, now since several years. And I think it has, this cooperation has a tremendous impact because um, being here for a week really creates a strong community and we in addition to the young global leaders we have now the global shapers in 450 cities around the world there's a second thing in that black box an unrelenting stream of immigration non-stop non-stop folks like me who were Caucasian of European descent for the first time in 2017 will be in an absolute minority in the United States of America. Absolute minority. Fewer than 50 percent of the people in America from then and on will be white European stock. That's not a bad thing. That's a, that's a source of our strength. I think there's a resurgence of anti-Semitism because at this point in time, Europe has not yet learned how to be multicultural. And I think we're going to be part of the throes of that, of that transformation, which must take place. Europe is not going to be the monolithic uh, uh, societies that they once were in the last century. Jews are going to be at the center of that. It's a huge transformation for Europe to make. They are now going into a multicultural mode and Jews will be resented because of our leading role. But without that leading role and without that transformation, Europe will not survive.